Hey, what's up YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be creating Willow from the game Don't Starve Together. And for this doll customization, I'm going to be using Apple White from Ever After High. So first I'll begin by removing her factory paint with some nail polish remover or acetone. I wanted to do Willow for a while now because she's one of my favorite characters to play and arguably the worst character to be in the game as she doesn't really add any um, over the top advantages. But I still want to do her because as a look I think she looks really creepy and I just really dig that kind of aesthetic. I'm going to be cutting off all of her hair, tie it back in a ponytail to make it all an easier cleanup. Willow has dark black hair. Dark black hair, is that a thing? So I'm going to be um, removing the blonde. Dunk the doll's head into warm water to make it easy to take off. After a little bit of a struggle, I realized that I should probably put her arms down and then pull. Ah. There we go. Next, I'm going to be taking a pair of needle nose pliers to scoop out all of the plugs and glue. Once we have a clean canvas, pop her head back on and repaint her scalp black. Now let that sit and dry. Now let's move on to her face. The face is going to be very simple. I thought for my first face up that it would be really nice just to go really simple where not too much technique is involved. And I'm noticing now that I keep getting black paint all over me, so I'm going to stop until she is completely dry because I'm just smearing everything around. Please ignore some of the continuity problems. Here is a shirt that I'm going to be using for her outfit because it, I thought it looked very painterly-esque and artsy, and that's exactly the design of the graphics in the game. Almost. Tim Burton like. So for the skirt, I'm basically going to be taking a rectangle, turning it over, and sewing down one edge. And then flipping it, and then using a gathering stitch at the top, pull it all together for the waistband.
because this is a doll sized skirt, I knew I didn't have to worry about making my stitches too perfect because I know that the doll won't be taking it on and off all the time. So wear and tear will be very minimal. Then what I'm gonna do is put it on the doll and make sure I have the waistband big enough to fit over her hips. <clears throat> and then I'm going to tie it shut and tie her, tie her right in it. In retrospect, I should have flipped the skirt first before I tied it because when I tried to pull it off of her afterwards, oddly enough, it snapped the thread and I had to re-put in the basting stitch. My common sense was not with me at that current moment. So, attempt number two. Now, for her shirt, I'm going to be using Apple White's jacket that she came with. Is this like a nightgown jacket or a robe? I'm not sure. But I'm going to be using it as a pattern to create Willow's button-up shirt. And since I don't want the full length of it, I'll just be cutting it off about halfway. Using a pencil, I'm just going to lightly trace over onto some tissue paper, connect all of the seams, and then there is the back piece pattern for her shirt. Now for her sides, I'm just going to carefully look at it and study exactly where the measurements for it and kind of eyeball it. Now to make her sleeves. I'm going to be making her sleeves a lot longer, so to measure it without taking it apart, just measure half the sleeve and then double the measurement when you cut out the pattern. That will be the full length of it. Also giving yourself sewing allowance, so give an extra few centimeters. Now I'm going to mark the width of the sleeve. And now measuring the model doll that you have close by, figure out how long you want the length of it to be. It's better to cut it too big than to cut it too small. Now a sleeve, when you unfold it, kind of has a bell shape to it on the end, and that's what's going to sew into the shoulder of the shirt. So cut out all your pieces and then pin them onto your fabric. Cut them out. And this is what the sleeve looks like when you sew it together. Basically, take your pattern piece, fold it over, and then sew along the bottom seam to close it, and then flip it. Now, we're gonna take the side seams and sew them to the back, and then sew up the shoulders, and then sew the sleeves on. So let's whip it all together and see what it looks like. Not bad. For my first ever attempt at making a tiny doll shirt, I think it went pretty well. With some snaps I closed it, but the skirt, it's still too much of a pencil skirt and Willow definitely had a more, um, a more flaring out skirt. It wasn't so form fitting. But while I contemplate making her a new skirt, I'm going to quickly paint in the whites of her eyes. I'm using an antique white because Willow has a very haunting look about her. Actually, the entire game has a very haunting effect. And in a game all about survival in the woods, it's definitely creepy. So I don't want to use a piercing white, I wanted to go for more of a off-white with like a yellow undertone to give her maybe a more creepy effect.
then paint around it with some black. And she's got her eyes. I told you this was going to be a very, very, very simple face up because for my first one, I wanted it to be a little bit more simple while I wait for more art supplies to come in the mail to make things a lot easier for me. got her face. I went ahead and remade her a new skirt, which I think turns out a lot better. It's a lot more flouncy, <laughs> if you will. And then I went and found Draculaura's boots that I'm going to take two part epoxy sculpt and reshape her shoes. I'm going to give her more of like a witch looking shoe with a point on the end. In the game, all the characters have huge heads, tiny bodies, and huge feet and hands. So I wanted to kind of stay true to that essence and make her shoes a little bit more exaggerated. both shoes are even and look the same. I'm not too worried about evening out the epoxy sculpt to meet the shoe to make it look seamless because I will be painting it all black and adding other details that will hide the seams anyway. So I'm not trying to be too perfect, I'm just trying to be good. <laughs> Few minor touches and they're done. Now I'm just going to let them air dry. It should take a few hours but to be on the safe side I'm going to wait overnight possibly maybe like 24 hours and then paint them black. I totally forgot about the collar. I basically cut out well this shape and then I just used a tiny snap to secure it. Give her some hair, and with a few finishing touches, we are done with this doll. I honestly think she turned out awesome. For my first doll, I am so, so proud of myself. It's the exact look I was going for, and I even went ahead and made her a backpack and uh, survival items that you can find in the game. I made them all out of polymer clay. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Bye for now.